Hey guys, Cyclomania here. I'm going to address two issues in this video. One's for uh, Mr. Two Honey. I, I think I said that right. Uh, and you had a question about uh, what's my thoughts on brine and bloat with uh, African cichlids. Um, and I mentioned a few videos back that uh, I feed my uh, fry and my grow out tank brine shrimp once a week. And uh, the reason why I don't feed uh, every single day is for two different reasons. Uh, one thing to think about is uh, your fish can only eat so much. So I see a lot of people out there, you know, they're like, yeah, 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 I feed my cichlids three times a day. And uh, they're, they're massive. Their bellies are huge. They look great. They're swimming around. And then... Uh, and then they'll, they'll tell me, oh man, I lost a fish this week, I don't know why, I, I feed them all the time, blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, most of the reason why people uh, feed like this is because they want, they want to power feed them like they're power feeding fish or snakes, you know, how you uh, double feed and stuff like that. So the, the problem with these fish is when it's time to eat, they're, th they're throwing in so much food, fish don't have a memory to, that they can just shut off and say, oh, I'm full. Uh, just like a goldfish, every three minutes it forgot that it ate. Uh, I'm not saying that cichlids only have a, a three-minute brain, but uh, they will keep eating. Um, they're very high, high in energy. You can see how much uh, energy they spend swimming around, and uh, they do burn off a lot of food. But they also do get sick. Um, all I know is I noticed when I fed brine shrimp, each a cube for each tank, in conjunction with feeding pellets and flakes, I, I did lose um, some fish. Not a lot. Um, I only had a couple cases of bloat ever. But uh, the biggest reason why I do that is I go through a lot of fish food. And uh, I find that uh, using this Omega-1 uh, food right here, I notice the same growth as I would in, if I was doing brine shrimp only. Um, brine shrimp's about five dollars for um, a little over a month and a half worth of feedings, and uh, you know this is flake right here. It's uh, real high in the live uh, omegas, and uh, you know uh, the proteins up there doesn't cloud the water as much as those cubes do. Um, I know some of you guys out there will take a, a brine shrimp cube and, uh, you know, dissolve it in a cup of water and then pour it through a net. That way you're not adding a lot of phosphates and, uh, you know, basically just uh, stuff that no one's going to be able to get to because it's so small. So uh, that's the only reason why I go with this and uh, do the other thing once a week. Live food is good. Um, it's just really good for their color. And uh, it's also good to give them a variety, a variety of a diet. I also got the Spirina. Uh, that stuff's really good. It's a, a type of algae. Uh, there's a lot of research on that type of algae, but it uh, has a lot of benefits. So uh, it's always good to mix it up and uh, do whatever you can. I like to throw hornwort in with my cichlids, duckweed, any of those things, just just to give them a variety. It maybe maybe they're lacking something uh, that we don't know um, during during the times that we're feeding them this this same old food every day. Uh, so it's nice to get them used to other foods too, because you're not going to be able to always have. Uh, the same kind of foods and it's nice I noticed that some fish out there get acclimated to one certain food and, and they don't want to touch anything else but that so then you go like a three day period of having a fish that uh, you can't even feed because he, he wants his other food that he was brought up on I've noticed that a lot too so switch it up it'll uh, improve their color and uh, I don't I don't know personally uh, if there's uh, an issue with bloat, I, uh, I try to feed, um, I have measured mounts when I feed my fish, and uh, I do that so I don't uh, underfeed them or overfeed them. 
So uh, that's the reason why I go with this and uh, do the brine once once a week for these two tanks. Um, and that's just to give them that extra umph to get out to here or they can just survive on whatever. Um, I've made them frozen fish food. I can make another video on that. It took a lot of hits um, for the most part on YouTube pretty quick. So um, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and explain how to do that again uh, someday in the future. But uh, that's my answer to that question. And I got uh, one more question I got to answer. Um, there was a guy on YouTube sent me a couple messages on uh, how to get uh, pregnant peacocks out of the tank without them spitting out their eggs. Um, let me go over this real quick. Uh, peacocks are the first fish I ever started breeding and uh, I noticed that they're really finicky um, and uh, sensitive. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically show you what I've uh, experienced and what I have done to uh, fix these problems. Um, a lot of you guys will uh, basically at least I've noticed, because I've had a lot of people come over to my house and catch catch fish for fun, uh, pregnant fish. But uh, let's go ahead and move this. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to fully demonstrate this, but uh, I'll be able to kind of explain. The biggest problem with peacocks is when you move them, let's say she's breeding over here, gets pregnant, and I move her into here. Um, not a lot, but sometimes in the very beginning of them getting pregnant for the first time they will spit all their eggs out like a week later or a day later or a couple hours after you've moved them uh, and uh, that always sucks usually they do it three or four times um, so if it's a new peacock female this is normal okay um, and here's the question the answer to the question that the guy had uh, basically saying when he caught the fish, she would spit the eggs out in the net. Well, here's the trick. Um, my girlfriend caught this peacock last night. She put it in there, and it spit out two eggs. I knew it was going to spit out two eggs just because of what she was doing. So I'm going to show you guys basically the trick of making them not spit out their eggs. So uh, what I'll do is I'll try to hold this camera and find the peacock. All right, so she's in the net right now. Now this is where people fail and they spit the eggs out. Best thing to do is pull her straight out of the water. Now that she's out of the water, there's no way she's gonna spit any eggs out. She can't. She has to use water to spit out eggs. So some of you guys are keeping the fish in the, the net, looking at it like this, and it's sitting there gasping, opening its mouth, trying to swim, and spits them all out. Best thing to do is go all the way underwater and uh, you want to make sure that you don't leave her near the top where she thinks she's threatened. Look at that. She didn't spit any eggs out, but last night what happened is my girlfriend set her in there just like this, and she just started to try to get out, get out, get out, eggs going everywhere. Um, I've noticed that multiple times. The trick is do not uh, leave them close to the top of the water. Uh, once you catch the fish, pull it out. Uh, you can mess around with that fish for at least uh, 30 seconds safely without worrying about getting it back in the water. So uh, make sure when you put her back in, you go straight down and you get down in the water and try not to keep her from uh, swimming and trying to get through the net. So that's my answer to that and uh, hope that, ho I hope that helped you guys. Uh, if anybody else out there wants to comment on the ways of doing that too, Please post down below so uh, other people can learn other tricks to those uh, questions that those two fellows had. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this on YouTube and get back to work on my saltwater hot tub. I'm going to be flushing the system out and getting this ready for RO water. So uh, if anybody wants to comment on that, any ideas on how I should go about cleaning this, but I am going to be running bleach through the system and uh, then some dechlorinator. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you.